everyone it's Jossie Lin J thank you so much for checking out my channel I haven't made a grilled video in a while but I'm super excited I definitely need to pack soon because graduation is near and your boy's gonna be out of college I say your boy a lot hit that subscribe button so there's an arrow pointing to the subscription button watermark whatever you want to call it that's popping up right now and if you're on a mobile device no worries you can just click that subscribe button underneath the video so uh, a few months ago I made a grill video for those who don't know and I got a lot of comments I got a lot of questions in the comment section and I plan on using this video to answer them but for those who didn't watch the video I'm just gonna reiterate some of the things I talked about basically the video is how I made thousands selling clothes on grill also how I didn't get scammed at all. So my secret to selling more clothes on Grailed. First thing you wanna do is you wanna pay attention to what season you're in. So if it's fall or winter, you don't really wanna be selling sandals. Keep in mind is you wanna stay in touch with Instagram. You wanna be on Instagram. I typically like to follow like complex sneakers, complex magazine. I also like to go on the Supreme there's like a Supreme community website and it lets you know how popular items are before. So next thing you want to do is you want to take good pictures. If you take bad yellowish looking pictures, people that's automatically a red flag because it just looks like you just don't take care of the item, especially if the item is pre-owned. But regardless if the item is pre-owned or new, you want to make sure you take the best pictures ever like you want to make them to be aesthetically pleasing just think about it when you're buying something off a website like if the motto and the picture looks amazing it makes you want to buy it there's like some psychology behind all this another thing i like to do is i like to mark my items at a lower price just to see if they're going to sell just to see how many people are going to add it to their wardrobe how many people are going to message me about it and then if i see i get a lot of traffic regarding the item if i'm not trying to sell it super duper fast i'll just delete the post and then i'll repost the item at a higher mark then i'll try to be patient and wait for a higher offer and if I were to get in, sometimes you get higher offers. Sometimes you just notice that they don't want it at that higher price, but at least if you have it at a low price, you have other people who want to offer you for it. One thing I noticed is if you do post items twice, you do some, you do get more traffic and you want to make sure that you also post your item at the right time. Next thing you want to do is make sure that you post items later on during the week. In my opinion, later on during the week works more because more people are going to get paid on that Thursday or Friday and make sure if your item is pre-owned that you keep it in the best quality as possible. Sneakerheads, make sure your sneakers are very near dead stock. People who sell wardrobes, make sure you're ironing the items before you post them if they're wrinkled because there's been times where I've posted something and it looked wrinkled and I'm just like, why would anyone want to buy this? Even if this item I've only worn it three times, or let's say I washed it and I let it hang dry and it gets all wrinkly. The little stuff matters. It's, it's not easy selling on grilled. Well, actually it can be, but you have to put in a little work just like anything in life. Other thing you want to keep in mind is you want to stay in touch with Instagram. You want to be on Instagram. I typically like to follow like complex sneakers, complex magazine. I also like to go on the Supreme. There's like a Supreme community website and it lets you know how popular items are. Make sure you buy stuff that people want. Look at the trends. Like for example, Off-White is a really popular item. Obviously all the Yeezy stuff is are really popular items. Pay attention to what collaborations are happening. If you could get your hands on like a Kith, Nike or Kith, ASICS collaboration or Supreme Nike collab, that's like gold. And then my last few tidbits of advice is to utilize the city you live in. What I mean by that is if you're in a bigger city, there's probably some sort of boutique that sells a lot of hype beast items 
and a lot of high-end items and follow those boutiques on Instagram and on Twitter because a lot of times they do buy one get one freeze sales that people who are online don't have access to also in store has a lot more items I can't tell you how many times I've went into stores like exhibition which is in Cleveland where I was able to pick up items that would have cost me two three hundred dollars for a hundred dollars or picking up a John Elliott hoodie for $90 just by utilizing the store that's down the street. And you also want to make sure you ship on time so you can get a good rating. But I didn't want to keep you all too long. That's really all I have. Make sure you leave a comment down below asking me questions about Grilled and make sure you also give this a thumbs up if you like this video at all or if it was helpful. I will see you all later. Have a beautiful, blessed, peaceful day. See ya. I'm out.